Hello, May class, and welcome to your next wider curriculum, le curriculum lesson. And we are continuing uh, looking at the Romans and the building of the empire. And today's lesson is going to be looking at the following. We're going to be um, looking at whether, or our LO at least, is can I understand why the Romans invaded Britain? And we're going to understand why they decided to invade Britain. And we're also going to look at the five main reasons why, or sorry, and we're going to do that um, by looking at the five main reasons why they invaded. Okay. So if we're looking, we're going to be looking obviously at why the Romans invaded Britain. Now, remember we looked at the idea that the word invade means to come in, so you haven't been welcomed in. And often we looked at words like they um, plundered, they looted, they stole things. So Britain had a lot of goods which the Romans wanted. And these included lead, wood, tin, wool, slaves, gold, silver and corn so the british land um had all of these things and the british people had these things and these are what the romans wanted to come in and take for themselves so corn let's start with that one as the roman empire grew bigger there was more and there was a more and more of a need for people to be fed so there were more people to feed and more need for food to feed these people. So more Romans started living in towns, which left fewer people in the country to grow crops. And Rome needed to import, so bring in, remember we've looked at the word import, more food, and Britain was a very fertile land, which meant lots of things grew there very well. So if you think about it, of the more people that move into towns, so um, a town looking area, meant there are less people out in the country. And if you lived in the country, that is where you would be to grow corn, grow crops, grow food. So the farmers that grow food that then we are able to then buy or, um, so that we can eat. So more Romans, like I said, started living in the towns. And this meant that there were less people in the country to grow these crops. So Rome had to then import more food. And Britain was a place where lots and lots of food grew and that the land was fertile, there was lots of, um, it was good, the soil was good and everything for more crops to grow. Right, raw materials. Britain had a good supply of sheep and wool, which was needed for making Roman togas. So the raw material that you need to make clothes would have been wool, and this would have come from the sheep. And this was then used to create um, the material that the Romans used for their clothes. So Britain had a very good supply of this and the Romans obviously wanted to use it so that they could then um, create textiles and materials that can be used for clothing. There were also raw materials like leather. So leather is the raw material that is then turned into other things. So the Roman army used a lot of the leather in their uniforms and in the soldiers' tents, and it was also used to make buckets because leather can be made quite waterproof or and it could have been used to carry water. So um, Britain had a lot of leather. They also had a lot of valuable metals. So if we go back to the beginning, we can see that they had gold and silver. There was um, tin, we've also got lead. So looking at silver, the Romans made their money out of silver and more coins were needed. So the more people there are, the more money that's needed. So more coins would have been needed to be made. And Britain already had silver mines that the Romans knew about. So the Romans knew that there were these silver mines where, um, that were run by the British and then the Romans could then use that silver. Silver was seen as a luxury item for rich Romans. So there was a big demand for it. Right, gold. Gold was used for jewelry and was in great demand by the Romans. 
Again, if we look back, it's probably a luxury item, something that's very expensive. It still is today. Gold was very important in trade as a means of exchange and for gold coins. There was a scarcity of um, gold across the empire, but they knew that Britain had gold. Scarcity means there was very little of it. Tin. Britain also had tin mines and tin and pewter were used for cups and plates. But now you can still get tin cups nowadays um, and it's still something that we use. And what was interesting about tin was that it could be mixed with other metals to make a strong and hard metal. So Britain had their tin mines and this was also another metal that the Romans could use. The Romans also used a lot of lead. And now lead was really useful for the Romans and the Britons, uh, sorry, for the Romans and Britain had a good supply of lead. It was used to make pipes like water pipes and for their plumbing systems. And it was also used to make coffins. Right, power. The Romans didn't just want the goods from Britain. They also wanted to invade. Remember, we spoke about that earlier to show how powerful they were. They wanted to show how powerful their army was and how powerful their empire was. So they invaded Britain and they plundered and they took things to show how powerful their empire was. By more and more countries being conquered, sorry, by conquering more and more countries and by making their empire bigger, it made Rome more powerful. So imagine there are the more countries they take over, the bigger their empire gets and how, the, better, um, the better resources they have and the more powerful they become. The Romans also believed that it was their duty to do this and make the world what they called civilized like them. And we know that the word civilized means well-behaved, well-mannered, but it also looks at um, your beliefs and they saw their beliefs as being the correct ones and the correct choice. And anyone that didn't um, believe in the same things as them, they would have said they were uncivilized. So they saw it as their duty. So what they were born to do um, or they were meant to do was um, to conquer other countries and um, take over and civilize the world that they or the country that they were taking over. So we're going to read the quote on the next slide and see what they believed about this. Remember, you are Roman. It is your job to rule over other countries so that the world becomes peaceful and everyone obeys Roman law. So the Romans belief was that they, it was their job as Romans to conquer other countries, to rule over other people, regardless of whether they had rulers already, um, so that everywhere could be peaceful and that everyone was under the same laws and that everyone was under the Roman laws. Ambition. Invading other countries and adding to the empire was a way to become more powerful and popular. And that's what we spoke about in the, in the previous slide about becoming more popular. The first invasions took place because Julius Caesar was ambitious. He was driven, he wanted to succeed and he wanted power. He wanted glory. Claudius had just become emperor in the first century BC and wanted to prove himself as a good leader of Rome when his invasion took place. And lastly, they wanted revenge. So the Britons had been helping what they called the Gauls, or what we call the French, fight against the Romans. The Romans wanted to punish the Britons for this and for helping the Gauls, and make sure that they could no longer do this. So the Romans invaded, invaded as a type of revenge. They said, you, you helped the Gauls, you helped the French, 
and fight against us. So we are going to invade your land and punish you for making those choices and for not supporting us and for helping the Gauls. So your task is as follows. I would like you to draw a spider diagram using the following headings. So why did the Romans invade Britain? What um, valuable metals did they have? What went under power, ambition, revenge, other raw materials? And it said, using the, key, the following headings include key information. So I'm just gonna show you how to do this quickly. Let me just get my pen. So if we just use this heading revenge, I'm going to put a little bullet point and I'm going to make my size, can I make it smaller? Yes. Okay, so we know from what we've just read that they wanted revenge um, against Brit the Brit uh, against Britain because they or for helping the Gauls. Okay, so they wanted revenge against Britain for helping the Gauls, and maybe you could write a little bit something about the Gauls and who they were, um, and that would go under my heading of revenge, and revenge would be my subheading, and then the reasons underneath it could be there. Under raw materials, we could list the raw materials that we spoke about. Under valuable metals, you could do the same, you put it in bullet point. Um, you could write short headings about ambition and short headings, short, sorry, short sentences about ambition and short sentences about power. You are more than welcome to pause the video, go back to what we were reading through, have a read through this, uh, draw this on a piece of paper, and then go step by step through and use the information from the PowerPoint that we've just gone through to include key information about why the Romans invaded Britain. Right. Don't forget to share your task, um, your spider diagram with us on Tapestry. What I would like you to do as an extension is write, um, turn your, um, turn your information, your key information that you've correct, collected into short paragraphs that you can put under subheadings of why the Romans invaded Britain. Don't forget to share this with us on Tapestry um, by 4 p.m. this afternoon. Please make sure to lay your work out neatly. Use a ruler if you're going to be doing subheadings. Make sure that you have your um, spider diagram nice and neatly put. And then you've turned, as, a, as an extension of that task, you've turned your key information into short paragraphs that can go under the subheadings that you've already got in your spider diagram. <laughs>